Hello and thank you for visiting the SEDM website and watching this video orientation intended for activism leaders. This presentation will take approximately 30 minutes so you might want to make yourself comfortable. The intended audience is people who want to volunteer to become an activism leader or who have already volunteered and who want instruction on how to do their job optimally. We would like to thank you for, if you did volunteer, for volunteering. This is a labor of love for us and for our members. We don't do this for money. What you have in front of you is the opening page of the SEDM website at sedm.org. Throughout this presentation, we will use certain instructional techniques. Let me demonstrate. In the upper right hand corner you can see the mouse cursor. It has a yellow circle around it and that yellow circle is intended to make it easier for you to follow movements of the mouse on the screen during this training. Likewise, if we click on an item you will hear a clicking noise and you will see a red circle emanating from the center. Let's try it. You hear the clicking noise, see the red circle. So let's go back. The reason we're showing you the opening page of our website is because we're going to help you uh, locate all the resources you need as a new activism leader in order to effectively do um, your role. For the purposes of this training we have also prepared an outline that thoroughly describes your functions as a activism leader and we're going to go through this outline to familiarize you generally with your duties and after we do that we're going to show you where all the resources are that are listed in this list that you need in order to fulfill your role. So let's start off with the benefits of volunteering. You get a 20 percent discount on all bookstore items. You also may have a blog on the SEDM forums. All you have to do is ask us your responsibilities are listed here in section 2 and those responsibilities include that you must be a member in order to serve as an activism team member. Non-members are not allowed to be activism leaders. We do that for a lot of reasons. The main reason is we don't want malicious volunteers slandering our name. Number 2, 2.2 uh, two here, you, you also need to locate and recruit new activism group members or find them those that have volunteered through our forums mechanism and vet them and approve them and so that that would be described in the next step which would be vetting and approving new county coordinators and activism leaders notice state coordinators are list not listed here because it's our job to vet them and item 2.4 schedule and lead group meetings in your region at whatever frequency you mutually decide within your group. Update and act the activism map for your, for your region and th this would include events and news items all of which will be posted in the forms mechanism and there's a separate training video on how to do that by the way and it would be contained on the support page and the final responsibility is to review and submit pleadings to the activism pleading library. The activism leaders function as vetting mechanisms to make sure that the content that gets posted is legally accurate so that anyone who reuses it is going to have useful information that will not discredit the user. And for that reason we don't allow individual uh, group members to post content in the libraries because we don't want it to become polluted with low quality information. Section 3, Ministry Resources. In order to do your job effectively as an activism leader, uh, you need to know where the SEDM activism map is, the activism leader guide, Form 16.001, thoroughly describes your job as, or your role as an activism leader, the Family Guardian activism topic, forms, forms and publications page, Section 1.16, the SEDM Jurisdictions Database Online, which is useful for locating uh, legal authorities for whatever situation you find yourself in. And 
The final resource you need is litigation tools page on the SCDM website to help you and your members or group members in their litig litigation process. As far as suggested personal resources, we highly recommend that you have, you know, at, at least more than a few of these items in this list here. You should have a personal computer. You need internet access to do legal research and to communicate with your other group members. We recommend some kind of chat software that's common among your group members, such as Skype, Jitsi, MSN Me Messenger, and a number of other free products. You need to have a word processor, which hopefully would be Microsoft Word, because that's what we use. And we'd like to settle on a common mainstream application that everybody can, can use and is familiar with. And finally, we recommend but do, don't require a legal research account subscription to something like, for instance, the Versus Law or LexisNexis or Westlaw or FastCase or uh, another product. The lowest price product would be probably VersusLaw.com. We highly recommend them. It's very inexpensive and it's very educational reading the case law and searching the case law on any given subject. So let's scroll back to the beginning here. Now what we're going to do is we're go going to go through every one of the items in section 3 here. We're going to show you where each individual item is located on the website. And after we do that, we're going to show you where you can go to find training on how to execute the responsibilities listed here in Section 2 under Responsibilities. So let's go through the items in Section 3 first. SEDM Activism Map. The SEDM Activism Map is located on the opening page of the site right here at SEDM.org. And all we have to do is scroll down from the top and you'll see here the clickable Activism Map. That is the activism map. You're going to go here a lot in order to find people in your state, in your county. It's a drill down process. It's a two step process to go all the way down to a county level. You start with the state. If you'd like training on how to use the, the activism map, we have a separate video tutorial that we won't duplicate here. So you can just click here on this item or you can go to the support page. This item is also found on the support page. And as a matter of fact, it's found in section 12 here under activism training using the activism map, section 12.1. So let's hit the back button and go back down. So there's your activism map. That's the first thing you need to know about where it is and how to use it. The next thing you need to know is the activism leader guide. The activism leader guide is found on the activism map. So let's go there. There it is. SEDM Activism Leader Guide, Form 16.001. All you have to do is click on this and you can open it if you have the free Adobe Acrobat Reader installed. If you don't have it installed, you can go to adobe.com and download it and install it for free. You can also find a link to this guide on the Activism Map itself when you click on one of the jurisdictions. It's right over here on the right hand side, Activism Leader Guide, either place. So let's go back to the outline again. The Family Guardian Activism Topic provides extensive resources for people who, are, um, want, who want to become effective at activism and that would be accessible right from here. Activism resources. If we click on that, notice it's an off-site link. We are not responsible for it, so please don't submit feedback to us to improve or correct the items there. But it's a very powerful and useful resource for those who want to engage in activism. Next, we have the forms and publication page on SEDM, section 1.16 which is entitled Activism Resources. So we can click, scroll up to the opening page at the top, click on Forms and Publications, and then we go to the left here for the section we want, 
in this case section 1.16 activism resources and as soon as we click on this the right hand side of the screen changes and we see all the activism resources including some of the ones we've already mentioned like the SEDM activism leader guide right here at the top that's another way to access that same guide and the activism group fellowship agreement and lots of other useful resources which will be growing as time goes on so let's go back to the beginning next we have the SEDM jurisdictions database online form 09.004 so we go back to the site and the jurisdictions database online if we scroll down to the activism map is right here SEDM jurisdictions database online likewise um, we can also access it from the activism map itself after we drill into a jurisdiction for instance if we go back to Texas and we look at the top menus up here we see an item that says jurisdiction info that will also take us to the SEDM jurisdiction database online and the display will be filtered to include only information about the currently selected jurisdiction instead of the alphabetically first jurisdiction so in, in this case it would take us to information about Texas so and by the way the training for the for people who want to become proficient at using the jurisdictions database online is also available on the support page and that would be right here we scroll down and we can see right here section 12.2 video tutorial using the SEDM jurisdiction database online if you want exhaustive training on how to use it so we won't duplicate that video here for in the interest of brevity so next we have and lastly we have litigation tools page on the, the SEDM which you would use to both to help yourself and to help your members in preparing legal pleadings in order to be effective in defending their rights or prosecuting government corruption which are among the main goals of our website and the litigation tools page can be found if we scroll up to the opening page of SEDM again we can click right up here on litigation tools and we can see vast resources more resources than you could ever possibly learn as a matter of fact that would be helpful to you in doing your litigation you have on-site legal research links or such as the subject index to find information on a specific subject jurisdiction database online which we just talked about this is another way to get to it as a matter of fact uh, the member subscription library if you happen to be a member subscriber we have a whole library of member items of law you can attach to your pleadings we have situ situational references that give you resources based on your situation the path to freedom which is used by people who are um, who want to regain their freedom it's a it's a step-by-step -step process lots of other on-site resources we have on-site forums you can go to to get help from other members and we have off-site support forums on on a family guardian sister site that we're not responsible for as well anyway we also have an outline of all the materials on this page we have both tools on the top and we have reference items on the bottom lots of good stuff here we highly encourage you to learn how to use this page and if you do want to learn and be effective at using the page you can click right here under using the litigation tools page and it'll tell you everything you could ever possibly want to know and that training comes from section 2.4 of the support page right up here support so that covers basically all the resources you need to be familiar with and where to find them so next we need to know where you can find training and additional information on how to do uh, how to fulfill all of the functions of your role as an activism leader and that would be right here in section two all of the training we currently have available for this purpose that is in video format will be posted in the support page of our site and let's go there so we would click go back home and we click on the support page right here and then all of the training we have available to help activism leaders is right here in section 13 
on the support page. SEDM support up here and support up here. So currently we have three videos and we intend to expand this quite a bit. But these are the basic functions that an activism group leader would need to know. And obviously, you know, before they could become effective as an activism group leader, they would also need to be a good activism person. So they probably want to be familiar with all of the items here in Section 12 as well. Activism training. So we show you how to use the activism map, how to use the SEDM jurisdiction database online. These are all training videos. How to locate and contact members in your area as a, as a leader or as just another, another member if you want to form your own group. Uh, we show you how to use the calendar function to schedule events and meetings in your region and how to use the activism pleading library which is a library of of uh, pleadings that are created by members of your group but vetted by you personally and posted to the site so they can be reused by everybody we're ganging up on this problem we're doing it together to help each other so right now we have three items here in the leader training uh, the activism group leader orientation which is what you're watching now how to update state and county area information on the activism map and how to vet and approve new county coordinators and activism leaders within your region and that is that those are all the main functions right now of activism leaders as you can see you have to be a member you have to be able to locate and recruit activism group members we have a video on how to do that uh, we have a video on how to vet and approve coordinators and activism leaders we have uh, another training video in section 12 on how to schedule and and lead uh, schedule meetings we have another um, another video on how to use the activism map uh, and and how to update information on the activism map that would be in section 12 something let's go there um, yeah updating state and county area information that's what that is on this list here update activism map for their region and finally review and submit pleadings to the activism pleading library and there's a video on that and that would be on the support page which is right here section 12.5 using the activism pleading library so let's go back to the opening page of the site this pretty much concludes the our overview or orientation for activism leaders and if you would like further information on in writing on how to do your job that you can print out and, and review over time and reuse then you should want should it consult the activism SEDM activism leader guide here form 16.001 or you can go to the activism map and look over here activism leader guide either of those two places thank you so much for watching our presentation and for volunteering to become an activism leader we really need people like you and this is a labor of love as we said before and we just want to help and love and protect people like they should be respected and protected because they certainly aren't being protected by their governments at this point. God bless you, and we look forward to working with you in the future.